the sun, you tell you have the sun. Whew. Y'all, it's chilly here. It's okay. Well, my car is 30 something outside. My car was in the garage, so it's reading 48 right now, but I think it's 36. When I looked at the weather, let me put my seatbelt on while I'm over here moving and rolling along. They still got their Christmas decor up in full effect. Okay, sir, ma'am. Oh, that's cute. They got some off. Oh. Oh, some tree swings over there for their little children. How cute. I hadn't seen a tree swing in years. It's been some years. Ooh. Ooh, this sun ain't no jokey joke out here. They ain't taking no prisoners. I guess y'all see I'm headed to the house of the Lord. Headed to service this morning over in Memphis going to the 8 o'clock service at First Baptist Broad. Amber's supposed to meet me over there. She lives a whole lot closer than what I told her. She don't like to go to the 8 o'clock service. I said, meet me at church tomorrow. She said, mm, mm. She ain't never say yes, but I told her. <laughs> then I told my brother, I said, she's supposed to meet me. But she ain't say yes, y'all. Uh, what she said was, that's early. I said, well, I'm coming. I'm coming from Mississippi. You right over there by the church. You close enough to me. Closer to me. You can get there at 8. I said, you know, you be on out of service. You had a whole rest of the day. You know. I said, because sometimes you wait around. You don't even end up going to the later service. So you might well come on. I said, okay, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So I just assumed that meant that she was gonna be there. I see you. Oh, I told her you go just put on some whatever because you know on the last Sunday you know you just be coming as you are. I said so you know you might well you end you out right you know because I know I ain't going to watch me service tonight y'all y'all because I'm not I'm not I ain't gonna be out of nobody's house and uh that time of night not not right now and y'all um. Uh, you know, I know God covered me, but I'm just not going. I can't barely. I'm going to be in my house somewhere. Oh, honey, I'll probably be sleep. I ain't going to even see the new year in. I'm going to be somewhere sleep. <laughs> Let you tell you what God loves. Hey, and y'all, I guess so. I just be acting brand new. You know they had this tent up here for Christmas. And I'm like, why they got these fireworks out? I don't got the hitty dump on fireworks tonight. You know. Y'all, look. I know some of y'all like to shoot. But them bullets got to go somewhere. Even if you shoot them there, don't shoot your guns, please, okay? I'd rather do you do. I don't even want to hear the fireworks, let alone. But please, please, get some fireworks. Please don't be out there shooting no gun for entertainment's sake. It just don't make no sense. So, like I said, a book goes out, got to go land somewhere. It ain't no guarantee it ain't going to land on somebody or in somebody's house or something. So, Please, y'all, please, please. And Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. We getting ready to enter into a new year. And we're going to make it greater, greater than 2023. We're going to claim the victory throughout the year, even through our up and down. We know that God is with us. Oh, I got to get some heat on this situation. It's cold and kind of, whoo, it done set on in here. <laughs> Get in the car and go warm it. I didn't warm it up. I just turned it on for about a minute. I didn't have no heat on. I'm just, you know, kind of letting the engine kind of do its thing for a second. Because, y'all, I got so discombobulated. But I said, you know what? I got so frustrated this morning because I put down something pretty big that I didn't know where I put it. Y'all even went out to the garbage can, searching through the garbage can. I found it. But, you know, I said... Before I found it, I had a made up mind. I said, I'm not going to let it frustrate me. I'm not going to even think about it doing the service. I'm going to go and get my praise on and worship on. And because uh, I had stopped getting dressed, it just it had got so discombobulated, you know, and it just really kind of was agitated. And I'm like, you know, I know I put this up. And I'm like, well, well, maybe Amber been here. I just went through all kind of Madrid of things, you know. Um, just wondering what, what, what. And I said, I know where I left it. I know how I left it. You know, and um, but I found it. Uh, right before I left, I went in uh, my dining room and it was in the dining room. 
because I'd be doing so much at that table. And I don't know why I didn't think to do that at first, but no, you would have thought I would have, but oh no, oh no, I didn't. Like I said, I just continued. I'm like, you know, at one point, I'm like, just go on, get your little wig ready. Go on, get your little wig together. Put some moose on it because it's looking wild. And I did put a little bit. I didn't put a lot. I sang it. Don't wet it. Don't wet it because I washed my hair this morning. Uh, and it's wet. So I'm like, you don't need all that. You know, it's still a little damp. But, you know, I got a wig cap on, you know. So I'm like, you just get yourself together, girl, and get it together. Get it together. So we're going to get it together and we're going to go on, honey, with thanks and praise. And uh, I hope that you go on and get your praise and worship. If you're not going, go on online or somewhere and get you a word from God uh, and get you a prayer. And if, you're, if not, go on to your own prayer, thanks and praise and worship right there. Read you a scripture, read you a psalm so you can be uplifted today and read Psalm 23. That's a praise right there. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I tell you, God is good. God is good. So go and read the Psalms 23 today and know that God is with you. He is your shepherd and he got you, okay? All right, all right. I ain't gonna hold y'all because y'all pussy just gonna talk to us all the way over here in the Memphis. We don't wanna hear all that talking this morning. <laughs> we trying to meditate and concentrate on the Lord. I'll see y'all and I'll call y'all back in a little bit. I'm gonna try to share a little of service if I can uh, get myself together. All right, y'all. Oh, y'all, service is over. It was a beautiful service. I'll put some in at the end because it's quite a bit. I uh, I'll put about 10 minutes in at the end so y'all can enjoy some of the service today, but it was a blessing. Press toward the mark. Leave all things behind pretty much was the message today. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know if Emma was there or not, but I'm going to get ready to go by her house right quick because I got some stuff in the car for her. It was a packed house today. And the funny part about it, he was talking about living this, I didn't record this part, but he was talking about living and make sure you enjoy life. And sometimes you just have to gather, have fun and find fun pretty much in life. And he said, and everybody laughed, of course, he said, you gonna die on somebody, might as well be a travel agent. <laughs> and I thought that that was the cutest thing. But like I say, you know, life is meant to live. It was a packed house, y'all, at eight o'clock. So it's normally a lot of people here, a nice crowd, but it was, a full house th today which is not the norm for um for good morning um not the norm for uh eight o'clock service i'm sure to 10. now what he said is you know for people who want to go to midnight watch at a nine o'clock service tonight uh they can do so but he is not going to have that service they're going to reconvene at three o'clock so he's kind of preaching back to back because he's going to do 10 o'clock service and he's also going to be back at three o'clock, he said, and that's going to be the end of the year service. And he's going to want to do it so his people won't be out at night that they can uh, get home. And um, but he does want to have still have an end of the year service. And for those he said who want to go out at night, you just help yourself. But anyway, I'm going to get over here to see Amber and then I will uh, kind of like I said, piece uh these uh little clips together for you so you could enjoy some of the service today how you doing i see you didn't make it to church <laughs> they have a service at three because you're obviously gonna miss the 10 o'clock yeah they having their end of your service at three he announced they ain't gonna do midnight watch no honey he said they ain't gonna be there in the dark uh-huh yeah yeah uh-huh yeah, hit that gown and take that coat. That's a nice coat for thirty dollars. I think I'm gonna try to get me another one. Huh? Yeah, that ain't no red coat. That's a nice coat. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm just saying it's not red. So you can wear that. Was more new. I'm just saying that's more neutral. You can wear that with other. Well, you know, tore it high anyway. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to tore. But I can't judge on my size because I'm ordering and I don't. I don't, you know, you don't be knowing about them Timu and Shein and stuff. So I have to try all my stuff on from Chin. I 
I'm gonna tell you, I'm finding Okay. She got her some clothes for her vacation. <laughs> you know, she does it all, but that's her birthday. So she said she was ordering her some stuff, child. She gonna show me her little outfit, she said. But anyway, yeah, but service was real good anyway. Y'all see, she didn't make it to service. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm actually at the, oh, the Walgreens because I have a, about $30 on my SHA. Of course, it's the last day of the year. And I need some Tylenol, so it's either use it or lose it. And we ain't got the time for that. I still am probably going to lose a few dollars, but I'm all right with a few. I'd rather lose a few over 30. So, thank you. I'm going to make my way back here to the back of the store. Get me a little... Hey, let's get here because it's easy for me to walk and plus she told me that they have a shot that I need here at this particular Walgreens so I'm gonna head back here to the pharmacy and do what it do I don't know why I'm going down this aisle because I ain't even gonna buy nothing but you know Walgreens marks they stuff down. Uh, I was just seeing what was left down the Christmas aisle. Everything be on clearance. Of course, they got the, um, what I'm trying to say. They got the um, Valentine's stuff day out in full effect. They got a few of the favorite fragrance gift sets. They got a Christmas tree Rubik's Cube. I used to love these when I was a kid. Hmm. Anyway. Plenty of wrapping paper. It's 60% off. Gift bags and stuff. All oh, this stuff, 60% off. Hmm. Lights, they have a few things left in here, so. If y'all are looking for something, check your local Walgreens. You might be in luck. You might be in luck. So, and acids, huh. Let's see here. What's that? It's approved OTC. What that mean? I don't know what that means. Maybe that's one of you can use your STC. It's always good to have some of this. It's like the Emodium, but it's not a Emodium. It's just a Walgreens brand, and it worked too. Oh, it's a six capitals. I might as well. Well, let me get the six. I don't need 12. The six will do. Just a little small token because I definitely need the Tylenol. Um, the Tylenol arthritis. I want to make sure that I have enough, if nothing else. Cough and cold. Pain relief. Okay. We down here. We getting there. We getting there. They got title and all this stuff. I guess the kid stuff is locked up. Child, I be just so brand. Like, they lock up everything now, don't they? What the heck? My goodness. Hmm. I guess. Nasal decongestion, mucus relief. Huh. I need some. Take 
say, you know, I be half looking all the time. Excuse me, young man. I'm looking for the title now, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's locked up too. Everything locked up. Lord have mercy. I guess you gotta wait till somebody come over here. Customer service needed in the coffin cold department. Mm. That stuff locked up too. Oh my God. I'm just really, people steal everything, I guess. I guess somebody coming over here, so I might well stand in line too and wait. Wait for the key. Which, um, I think he needs something, but I need something too. What you need? I need the Tylenol arthritis. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, I'll do the, I'll do the eight hour one. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Thank you, baby. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, they locked this stuff up, child. They locked it up. <laughs> no, no, I'm feeling, but my God, today. Okay, I guess. I guess. Let me go over here, because I need the a shot. I need two shots. With the pharmacy. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. I don't know if they can help me with the what's name shot today. We'll find out here shortly. Hey, how are you doing? I was over at the Goodman Road location and I need a COVID vaccine. I need the Moderna. Do you have the Moderna here? Yes, I do. Okay, I need. Okay. They got it. I think she's checking to make sure. Yes, we do now. And I also need a flu shot. Okay. I guess I could have told you all that in the first place, huh? So what's the, the, the uh, date right Eight three. Let me get back to y'all. I'm waiting now. Y'all, I be procrastinating, so I said I might as well go ahead and get everything done today. Go on and do it do it while I'm thinking about it because I'll still be saying next year I need to get it done so that wouldn't even matter if I would have waited on that I didn't have to get that done today but since I'm in here I might as well get it done and go ahead and finish it but anyway I'm waiting and I'll call y'all back after I get in the car Ooh, my hair flat while I had my head on y'all anyway I uh, I'm finished I FaceTime Amber because you had I had to get a purchase in there of a dollar. Well, I didn't have to buy this because I bought something else. I split it up in two because I had ten dollar worth of reward coupon, and it expires soon. I don't come to Walgreens like that all the time, so they had these and these was new. And she liked the original Red Hot Bites, and I asked if she wanted to try these, so I got all these. I ain't going to her house though. Like, she gonna she'll get them when she come to the house. So I told her to uh I would put them in the freezer for. Her. So I got that. I'm thinking about where my phone. I need to. Um, I think I'm gonna go to Abbott's because they just opened. I'm gonna give me some greens and cornbread. Driving directions to Abbott's. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know the way from here because I'm out of this other uh, Walgreens. Let me try it again. Driving directions to Abbott's. We don't want to get lost and turned around. That's the wrong place, child. Driving directions to Abby's restaurant. Don't y'all hate when y'all be uh, talking to this thing and it don't do nothing you say. <laughs> it's going to tell me somewhere 32 minutes away, but I know that wasn't. 
Oh no, honey. Let me just look this up because it's trying to take me eight hours. That's the only thing about do you know you using these Sorry, things? No, baby, no, 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 no. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Cause uh we ain't trying to uh Abby's. We ain't trying to uh Yeah, let's go in. Let's drive in. They say you can order pick up. We're going to go to the one on the Camp Creek. 2.9 miles. That's more like it. Because the voice messages wasn't working. It's telling me where to go. I'm over here on Hacks Cross in Olive Branch. At this Walgreens. Not at the one by my house. I would have knew which way to go. Okay. Let's go, y'all. We're going to go get us some greens and cornbread. Y'all know I stay knocking y'all down somewhere. All the freaking time. I guess y'all say you show sure do. But anyway, lady, don't come up back here. Because I ain't the best driver today. You know, I was at the church, y'all. And the poor lady hit her thing. Oh, she was coming to service as I was leaving. Lord, she drove into the fence. The security guard was out there trying to help her get her car off the fence. He was making it worse. She, you know, I know she done tow up. It was, she had an SUV. I know she done tow up that dog on there. Another, uh, they got a, uh, what you call this thing? They got a uh, fireworks thing here. A big tent over here by the Fairfield Inn. Stop sign. I've never stayed at a Fairfield Inn. Are those nice hotels, y'all? Huh. I don't know. That I don't know. Domino's Pizza. I ain't had no Domino's Pizza in a couple of years. I used to like Domino's because they had the, like, the little different, like you can buy like two for five dollars right and stuff like that, you know. You could buy two things like the pasta and the, do they still sell that stuff? I liked it anyway when they sold it, like the pasta and you can get wings and uh, the Bread. Say stay in the second lane. Oh no, I'm going. Y'all, I can't win for losing with these directions today. I know I ain't going nowhere for no 20 miles. Anyway, let me get off here and try to figure out where I'm going, y'all. Okay, y'all, I think we're going to the right place now, I guess. Jeez Louise, it's really trying to just take me somewhere today. I think I know where I'm at now anyway. Yeah, this now this look familiar. This look familiar. Alright, we getting there, y'all. We getting somewhere now. We drive. I recognize the tractor, the tractor supply company and the five-star gas station. So now I know where I'm at. I guess I you ought to live down here long enough. I ought to know my way around some places. I do some places, but you know I can tend to go right there in the circle by my house. Downtown Olive Branch. <laughs> I always get tickled, y'all. If y'all ever drive through downtown, y'all would too. You know, it's a typical small downtown area. Those are some nice apartments. I don't like apartments with three floors, though, because they don't be having no elevator. You know, you have to walk up the, the stairs. I didn't even like those when I was younger, and I lived on some third floor apartments when I was younger. I hated it. Ugh. Taking your grocery in, and uh, you know, what no elevators, you know, you drag your grocery bags and everything up to the third floor. Oh, Jesus, Jeez Louise, it was a whole hot mess, child. Oh, the Abbots wasn't nowhere from, from where I was. Well, it ain't nowhere from nowhere with you and Olive Branch, anyway. you gonna be at everything pretty quick, pretty quick, honey. Oh, Lord. If I should get a whole meal in heaven, maybe I'll get a meal today at the Abbey's. Get me a meal. Because I ain't took, well, I do have a couple of pieces of fish down. I was just going to tell a steal. Now, I didn't take that out. I had that from the other day, and I went on and seasoned the four pieces, and I cooked two. 
and ate the two, so it's two seasoned. And you know what? My cousin was talking to me about some, um, he had texted me about some salmon croquette, and I was telling him I was going to make some of that, and I never did. That's the day I ended up eating fish instead. Because I'm like, I had, I had a taste for some, but I do want that salmon croquette. He was asking me about fixing it in the air fryer. And I'm gonna make me some this week. That what that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. That's a must. I'm gonna make some, throw them in the air fryer. Chick-fil-A. Y'all know they ain't open on Sundays. They are not open on Sundays. Oh, Y'all trying to get crooked on me. Let me whoop on up in here to the Abbey's and guess what? They just opened. They got a doggone line. And here this car is. He he going in front of me. Sir, why are you going in the Abbey's anyway? Well, he going in. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize. I thought you was getting ready to be in front of me. There's enough cars in front of me. I don't figure out what I want to eat today. Maybe I'll have a pork chop. I think I will. Cause I have not eaten a darn thing. All I had was a, I had two mints. I had a, um, well, not two mints. I had a mint and I had a, a butter rum lifesaver while I was in church. So that's been the, uh, uh, it for my meal. I can turn this off now cause I'm up in here. It's 11, 18. You know, you, you mean, it ain't even late because you know, I done been, uh, I still got that Christmas tree up in the corner. It's got to come down today, but it's up there. Anyway, let me turn this off. I don't need no more directions. Put the phone up. They didn't even need my cards. I guess they don't do that no more. It's kind of like when you get the flu shot. You don't, you don't have to register it and all that jazz. Okay. All right. Whatever. Whatever is clever. Whatever works. Anyway, what are y'all cooking today? My sister treating herself the last day of the year because, as y'all know, I'm going into no spend January. And I got my gift cards with me. I could have went to Zagby, but I said, you know what? I might want to eat out next month, and I might well save my gift cards to then because I can't really be spending no money, uh, you know, on eating out and stuff. So, look how God blessed me with these gift cards. If I want to eat out, I can still go out and not have to spend a walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I really want me a seafood. I hadn't had one. And somebody, I was supposed to be getting one for my birthday, and I never did go get it. I did put that money up. It's still sitting over to the side saying, I'm going to get me a seafood uh, seafood boil. And somebody was eating one. I might go to the Juicy Crab one day next month and get me a some shrimp. Just some shrimp and a couple of potatoes. I don't need no big boy. I ain't had any crab legs in a while. Of course, I'm lazy and don't feel like fooling with them, too. So, that's part of the thing. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off here. Because I ain't no telling how long this thing going to be. I know y'all probably sick, sick, sick of me. But I'm going to get off here. And I will chitter-chat with y'all later. I'm going to figure out what the heck I want to eat when I get up to this line. I'll talk to y'all later. I want you to know you're loved. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to of yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye. And I'll put the church service at the end. Love you. Now, God, we get back in the confidence of knowing that you will use the gifts in such a way that it will prosper the kingdom of heaven. And, Lord, that we will use it in such a way that will bring glory unto you. Lord, bless the giver. Bless the sower today. God, they have sown mightily in this season. They have given to hearts and to homes that they don't even know. They have blessed people with food on their table. They have put clothes on the backs of those who have needed them. They have helped those who have been burned out of their homes. They have helped those who could not bury their own loved ones. They have made a way for children to have blessed and plentiful Christmas days. They have helped those who are in educational need. They have supported people, dear God. Now, God, give back to each hand and each heart. 
that is sown into your kingdom in a mighty way. In Jesus' name, all of those who love the Lord said amen. 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 Philippians chapter 3, God blesses us. Today, I want to go to Philippians chapter 3, beginning at verse number 12. They're going to bless us in song. to tell somebody on today, I am ready for whatever the Lord has in store. I am ready, ready for whatever, whatever the, the Lord, Lord has in store. Amen. Amen. Y'all in there. He's saying what I am doing 
and what I'm going through, it ain't easy, but it is worth it. I ought to have somebody in here that's in a rough situation, tell somebody it ain't easy, but it's worth it. Here she's here, he, he wraps it up. He said, brother and sisters, I ain't there yet. He said, well, one thing I do, here's what I'm going to give you a prescription on the left one. He said, one thing I do, I forget what's behind yeah. Yeah. Touch your name and say, forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, matter of fact, if any of y'all ask me anything, about last year, about this time, I'm looking straight for the next I'm going to say, forget about it. If you ask me where they at, I'm going to say, forget about it. If you ask me what they did, I'm going to say, forget about it. If you ask me what happened, what went on with him or her or them or they, or why didn't you do this or that, I'm going to say, forget about it. Because the longer I dwell on that, I can't get to this right here. And the longer you dwell on anything that didn't happen or did happen, whenever it didn't or did happen, All right. you can't get to what God has in front of you. You can't press forward anything while looking back at something. I'm trying to help about 15 or 20 of y'all. You need to let it go. You need to forget. Matter of fact, make up your mind right now. I ain't going to talk about it no more. I ain't even going to mention it no more. As a matter of fact, if you mention it, I'm going to act like you didn't even say that to me. I'm going to look at you like a blank stare on the wall because you ain't talking about that. You're talking about side of your neck, and I really don't even want to hear about it. It don't even make sense to keep bringing it up because there ain't nothing we can do about yesterday. Here's what he's saying. He said, I got to, in order to attain this big, beautiful thing that God is building for me and building in me, I have got to forget what is behind. That's what he said. He said, I got to forget yeah. He's got to forget his credentials. Yeah. He's got to give up confidence in the flesh. He's got to give up the losses that happen. And he's got to consider it, he says, literally garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him. He's looking for a faith and a righteousness yeah. in Jesus that no matter what comes, no matter what shows up, he is going to be ready for. Watch what he says. He said, I got to forget about what is behind and I got to strain towards what is ahead. Yeah. I got to strain. Um, what does that mean? It means I am going to have some opposition. Yeah. Yeah. I, I told you last week, and I didn't say it again, the enemy don't want you to know who you really are. He, he doesn't want you to know what you're truly capable of. Yeah, yeah. He wants you to always think that you are insufficient and inadequate. Because as long as you think that way, you'll act that way. As long as you surround yourself with folk who compliment your inadequacy and your insufficiency, you will behave in that manner. As a matter of fact, you need to get around some folk who won't tolerate you being less than your best self. I know, I know. You get on my nerve always saying this, but I want you to be all that God has for you to be, and I want to be all that God has for me to be, and I have to be around some folk who keep calling me to my best self. I have to be around folk who keep calling me up higher and quit letting me perform at my lowest level. Right. I want to be around folk who see a future in me. They know God has made something out of me and they keep calling me to higher ground. I know you may say amen because you're happy where you are, but I need to tell you if you want to walk with me, you're going to have to get up a little bit higher. You're going to have to put some pep in your step. You're going to have to want something more. You can't be talking about yesterday. You can't be looking back all the time. You can't be talking about this, that, and the other that don't make no sense. I don't care who looking at who, who holding somebody's hand. If it ain't in Christ Jesus, if it ain't about something good, if it ain't about something great, if it ain't about something God, I really don't want to talk about it. Paul is saying, I am going to strain toward what is ahead. 
And as long as the enemy can confuse me about myself, I always believe what he says. But Paul, the people's brain, and here's what he concludes with. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which, has got, for which God has called me. And that prize is in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Whatever it is, whatever it is your goal, God, make sure Jesus is number one. Amen. Make sure Jesus is number one. Amen. I want more faith. It's in Jesus. Amen. I want more love. It's in Jesus. I want less stress. It's in Jesus. I want to lose 10 pounds. That's it. That's in Jesus. Whatever your goal is, it's got to be in Jesus Christ. Because anything outside of Christ, it ain't worth working for. But if you find yourself pressing for what, even if you, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be a millionaire so I can bless some people and bless my church and a good man, a good woman needs an inheritance for his children's share. I want to do it in Jesus Christ. I ain't trying to do it for no worldly attainment. I ain't trying to do it for no accolades out here. I don't care if nobody never call my name and give me another certificate or award for nothing. As long as I can see my maker, as long as I can to see heaven boy in Jesus Christ. As long as I'm pleasing God, as long as I'm working toward the high prize, who in this house today has anything that you're trying to press on the upward way for and tell somebody it's all in Jesus Christ. I ain't living for myself. I ain't living for nobody else. I'm living purely for the Lord and I want God to be pleased with my life.